All right, now looking at the depreciation methods, the first depreciation method we're going to look at is straight line method. Now the straight line method, of the, um, this is a depreciation schedule and we're going to complete this depreciation schedule to give you an idea of um, how uh, depreciation methods differ. Now the first thing is our cost of our asset is 13000 as a residual value of 1000 and the depreciation rate is 20%. So now 20% now. Sometimes you might see for the formula or the calculation of the depreciation expense because this is what we're calculating. Might sometimes look like this. Cost minus residual. And when I say residual, I'm talking about this residual value here. Divided by the life of an asset. Now, we've been given a depreciation rate of 20%. That can equal five years being 20% every year up to 100% would be 5 years. So, and you can see the formula is uh, written slightly just down there as well. So let's do that. Now, my depreciable amount is 12,000 being my cost minus the residual. That's how we come up with the 12,000. So the 13,000 less the 1,000 gives me my depreciable value. And my first um, calculation is 20% of that which is 2400 my accumulated depreciation is just the sum of all my depreciations we've only got one in the first year so we've got 2400 and my carrying amount is my cost minus my accumulated depreciation so my cost is 13,000 Less my accumulated depreciation of 12,500 comes in at 10,600. So repeating the process for the second year, obviously my depreciation straight line, so I'm depreciating it again at 2,400 per annum. My accumulated depreciation increases, being the sum of the two depreciations, giving me 4,800, and my carrying amount is 8,200. Into year three, 2,400 again. Uh, that comes in at uh, 7,200. My calculator not working, or well, my brain not working too well at the moment. 5,800 is my carrying amount. Repeating for year four, 2,400. 9,600 is my accumulated depreciations. Uh, 3,400 is my carrying amount. And last year I've got 2,400 as my accumulated depreciation, $12,000 as my, sorry, my depreciation, my accumulated depreciation, and 1,000 is my carrying amount at the end of the five years, which agrees with the residual value that we started the, um, went at, on acquisition, uh, that we decided it was on acquisition. Now if we have a look at the journal entry required, I'm only going to do the journal entry for one year because it will be the same journal entry five times. What we do is we, my debit column and my credit column, my depreciation expense, because my expenses are a debit balance, is 2400 and the other side of my journal entry is my accumulated depreciation which would also be 2400 and that's how to calculate straight line method we're all okay with that one cool all right let's go on uh, the second method which is the diminishing balance method let's see if I can just hit that focus for a second make it a touch sharper and look at that it is all right, so we've got our diminishing balance method. And this is a slightly different method. The formula for this one, and we're going to use the same number, so my cost is 13,000. Um, and we're going to try and come back to a residual value of um, about $1,000. But my depreciation rate will be twice that of um, straight line method. My straight line method was 20%. We're going to make this one 40%. Okay, um, now the formula would be my cost 
minus my accumulated depreciation I'll abbreviate that times my rate this is how I calculate my depreciation now so in the first year my cost is thirteen thousand dollars multiplying that by um, forty percent gives me five thousand two hundred dollars uh, 5,200, my accumulated depreciation is 5,200 and my carrying amount and as mentioned before is that's cost minus accumulated depreciation comes in at 7,800. Now my depreciable amount for the next year is my cost minus my accumulated depreciations. So that 7,800 becomes my depreciable value the next year and I'm going to apply it to my 40% so I've got 7,800 times 0.4 and that equals 3,120 and I'm going to add that to my 5,200 and that comes in at 8,320 and my carrying amount would then be 4,680 being my 13,000 less um, 8,320 and once again that carrying amount becomes my uh, depreciable value or depreciable amount the next period so I've got 4,680 by my 40% That equals 1,872. 1,872. If I add that to my 8,320, I get 10,192. And if I take that away from 13,000, that equals 2,808. And that becomes my amount I'm depreciating next period. So my 2808 times my 40% gives me, let's make that a 1123, we won't, we'll leave the cents out for the moment. Um, I'm going to add that to my depreciation. Oops, let's start that again. 1123 plus 1192, 11,315, 11,315, less my 13,000, gives me 1,685, which becomes my opening balance the next period. Okay, continuing the, along on the method, I'm going to multiply that by 40%, which gives me 674. I'm going to add that to my accumulated depreciation of 11,315. Gives me 11,989. When I deduct the 13,000, gives me 1,000. And eleven dollars. So we come back using a different method. We almost come back to the same amount that we had with the straight line. So we're coming back to about the same. But you can see the usage is different now. The diminishing balance method, um, businesses like to use it for technological assets, where in the earlier periods the use of the asset is going to be much higher than in later periods, and so the depreciation needs to reflect the usage. Uh. All right, last method of. Um, Depreciation units of production or units are sometimes use is the other common way we talk about it. And the first thing we need to do here is we need to work out how do we calculate this rate. Now this rate is calculated by my cost minus my residual divided by the usage. Now we can work out what my usage is because it's down the bottom there, it's 100,000 units. The cost, we're still looking at the same cost of 13,000. My residual is still the same at being 1,000. And this time we're using 100,000 kilometres. So that's 12,000 divided by 100,000 equals 0 0.12, which is 
the rate we're talking about there. Now that's calculation of the rate. The depreciation is just the usage times the rate. So this business has decided that the vehicle that they've purchased is going to be used for 100,000 kilometres and the breakdown would be this over that period of time. Or actually this could be actual usage as well. So we have a look at it. Um, 15,000 times 12 cents equals 1,800. So my accumulated depreciation is 1,800. And my carrying amount, as I mentioned before, is my cost minus my accumulated depreciation. Uh, which gives me 11,200. Next year I've used the vehicle for twice as many uh, kilometres, so I'll come in at 3,600. I add my depreciations together uh, to give me my accumulated depreciation of 5,400 and my carrying amount is 7,600. Year three I used the vehicle for 20,000 kilometres which gives me $2,400 worth of depreciations. I add that all together and I get $7,800 worth of accumulated depreciation and a carrying amount of $5,200. Continuing the method, 25,000 kilometres by 12 cents will give me $3,000 worth of depreciation. It, my accumulated depreciation increases to $10,800 and I have a carrying amount of 2,200. Last year I've got 10,000 dollars, 10,000 kilometres worth of usage, 1,200 dollars worth of depreciation. My accumulated depreciation moves up to 12,000, which leaves me with a 1,000 dollar residual value, which is what we calculated at the start, the 1,000.